in the enchanting realm of Jewish folklore, where narratives weave intricate patterns of imagination, Lilith emerges as a radiant star, illuminating the captivating essence and intricate nuances of this cherished tradition. Lilith's enigmatic presence raises profound questions about the intersections of Judaism and Christianity. Unraveling her identity, her textual references, and her literary significance unveils a tapestry of spiritual exploration. Unveiling Lilith's identity. The term Lilith emerges in Isaiah chapter 34 verse 14, a prophecy aimed at Edom. The King James Bible translates it as screech owl, describing desert creatures and their habitat. The interpretation of Lilith as a night monster is debated among scholars, leading to diverse translations. Beyond the Hebrew Bible, various Jewish texts emerged, including pseudepigrapha, folklore, and biblical commentaries. Notably, the medieval alphabet of Ben Sirach presents an alternate version of the Adam and Eve story. Here, God creates Lilith as a companion for Adam, but their conflict over intimate connections leads to her departure. Lilith's defiance prompts divine consequences and her character embodies intriguing complexities. Lilith in Folklore The story continues in the alphabet of Ben Sirach as Lilith's offspring become a focal point. Her narrative weaves into a backdrop of demon children, amulets, and divine punishment. The tale offers insights into Lilith's promiscuity, motherhood, and her role as a folklore figure to explain existing customs, much like cultural myths such as Paul Bunyan and the Grand Canyon. Jewish and literary references. Lilith also appears in the Gemara section of the Babylonian Talmud portraying her as a symbol of rebellion and problematic female traits. This image is echoed in other sources, depicting Lilith's associations with disease, monsters, and manipulation. Beyond religious texts, Lilith permeates literature and popular culture. Neil Gaiman's The Sandman incorporates Lilith's story, and C.S. Lewis references her in The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe attributing the White Witch's lineage to Lilith. Lilith's absence from the Bible. Lilith's absence from the Bible is attributed to her emergence as a folklore character. While debate exists about the allegorical nature of Genesis, Lilith's absence underscores her later incorporation. Controversies and significance. Lilith's controversies are twofold. Firstly, she embodies a folklore figure within a folklore interpretation of Genesis. This sparks debates over mythology, historical accuracy, and textual integrity. Secondly, Lilith's story converges with dialogues concerning gender dynamics and societal roles. Her defiance and divine retribution mirror differing cultural perceptions of agency and equality. Understanding Lilith is vital for two reasons. Firstly, it distinguishes original stories from later folklore. Recognizing this difference enhances biblical literacy and textual discernment. Secondly, Lilith engages broader discussions of Abrahamic faiths versus paganism, challenging stereotypical portrayals. Her complex nature dismantles simplistic comparisons and underscores the nuanced reality of both historical and mythological female figures. In essence, Lilith encapsulates the essence of Jewish folklore and its intersections with wider belief systems. Her story bridges tradition and speculation, offering a glimpse into the intricate tapestry of faith, mythology, and cultural interpretation.